making Zothro tincture. This is sage. I grew this in my garden. I just tried this last year and it's still perfectly looking. It smells fantastic. I do the same thing with the sage. I fill up a third with the sage herb and then I fill it with vodka five to six weeks. The jar up to about a third with, with dried, a freeze dried sage that I harvested from my garden. Now I fill it up with vodka and then I let it sit for between five and six weeks. But it can sit longer, just it's better not to strain it before that time. Fill it up all the way to the neck of the jar. About that full. The sage can absorb some of the uh the stir real quick. The sage can absorb some of the liquid, so after a couple days you might want to check to see if there was a lot absorbed and then you might want to backfill with more vodka. Now I top this and set it on a shelf. Now place them in a, um, not bright sun, but in a windowsill that doesn't get direct sun all day or just on a regular shelf. When you think about it, shake the jars. Then I strained the sage herb that was in macerating in vodka and look how dark it got and then I push the last of the herb out and I fill it in bottles and these bottles have little spring tops perfect first throw I'll show you when they're done and then once they filled I label them like that, I get the labels on uh, Amazon, the Avery labels, and they're ready to go. The rest of the tincture, and there's quite a bit left, if you look at it, from one quart. So this would last me probably about a year if I didn't give it away. But the rest I put in olive oil bottles that I've cleaned and saved. and. I like them because they're dark, so they don't um, uh, they don't degrade the tincture as it's being stored in that. It can now be stored for up to a year or even longer.